I've gotten a few comments about my setup. It's glorious, isn't it? I was using Arch Linux for quite a while. I really like a rolling distro and the wiki is really good. Then I got my M1 Mac Mini set up with Asahi Linux, which is Fedora 41 when I installed it. I really wanted the same setup, so I installed Fedora on my framework laptop as well. But everything changed when OBS decided to not work when I needed it most. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. Let's take a tour of my Asahi Linux. The desktop environment is the Sway Tiling Windows Manager, and the theme I am using throughout is the Catpuchin Mocha. So when I press Alt-1, it moves to the first workspace. If I press Alt-2, it goes to second, third, and fourth, and so on. Now my first workspace is generally reserved for my terminal, which is Kitty, and I could just open it real quick with Alt and Enter. And here's the fast fetch. With both Sway and i3, you can set your modifier key, which I set to Alt, to anything you like. I so much prefer tiling windows managers because Alt tabbing is such a time consuming to cycle through all your windows until you get to the one you want. I can just press Alt 3 and go to that workspace wherever I need to go really quickly. And to open up an application here on Sway, I'm using Wofi, so that is Alt D, and I get a menu to pop up. Then I can open up my trusty browser, and that is the beauty of tiling windows managers is not having to use the mouse often or almost never. And with the browser, I can use shortcut keys such as Control T to open a new tab, Control W to close the tab, and then you can use Control Page Up and Page Down to cycle through each of your open tabs. And speaking of never really using our mouse, let's go ahead and look at NeoVim. And if you wanted to know what I'm using, I am just using LazyVim. Not because I'm lazy, because I set it up once and I don't really have to worry about it too much. A lot of people will rice their Vim and their setup forever. Me, I just want to set it up and get to work. So if you wanted to get started with NeoVim and LazyVim, you just go to lazyvim.org and kind of just follow the instructions for installation. It's not that bad. As a matter of fact, all I do is copy from my dot .files my config to my nvim directory and I'm pretty much ready to go. Let's open up our config. So my NeoVim, I have all my configuration. I just copy and paste basically from my dot files right here. And all I have to do is install plugins that I want to use, such as LSPs with Mason. So here's some of the ones I have that I have installed. I don't know if I really use all of these that much. And here's my basic kitty configuration. Just have color scheme. That's for the terminal and this way. And here's where I set my mod key for alt so whenever i want to change a window or a workspace i press the modification key which is alt and one two three four five six seven eight nine and zero and then on sway i have the way bar which is all this stuff at the top here oh well the first time i'm using my mouse here but this is basically the setup between this config and the styling oh yeah my css lsb doesn't like anything going on there and the coloring for the mocha Cat Puccino Mocha, and then the Wofi. But yeah, at least with Wofi, these uh, icons work. We'll see on my i3, I'll show you that, that it doesn't work. Not yet, I just need to tinker with it more. Like I said, I just wanna get to work. I don't wanna tinker forever. And when I needed to record my first ESP32 video, OBS stopped working. So I did have to use this computer, and I wasn't actually sure about the ARM processor M1 chip working with the ESP IDF builds. Fortunately it did, but unfortunately OBS still didn't work. That's when the void called and I answered. This is not reality. <laughs> not reality. Not reality. It was either time to go back to Arch or try something else. I wanted the former and I like a rolling distro, so Void Linux was the obvious choice. Installation reminds me of Arch. You really have to set up and install everything you want. It does have an XFCE option for a quicker desktop environment setup, but I knew I wanted to go with i3. Well, that's because A, I wanted a tiling windows manager, and B, it uses X11 for display, which works quite well with OBS. So I went with the base image with the glibc and slapped that on a USB. They do offer a MUSL instead of glibc. Maybe one day in the future when it's more mature. glibc has been around for quite a bit and it just works. I always use Etcher. It works on Linux and Mac. I think Rufus is good if you're on Windows. Now once that was complete, I put it in my laptop and hit the reset button. I always forget the combo key to select the drive. Uh, so just kind of smash the keys until you get it, I guess. And once you got your correct button combo, now we can select install and follow the directions. 
Now, there's plenty of guides out there for installing Void, so I'm not going to really go through it. And now this is my Void Linux setup on my framework laptop. This desktop environment is the i3 Tiling Windows Manager, and I'm using the Nord theme throughout. And once I got the base packages installed, it was easy as cloning in my dot .files repo and copying the folders to the relevant config directory. There will be a link in the description for my dot .files. I do have three main branches. The main branch was for my Arch Linux, which was in a kind of a blessed state. The Asahi Linux was for Sway, and now i3 is for this, obviously. So once I ever set up a new computer with i3, all I gotta do is copy dash r, i3 to config for instance, and kitty and neovim and polybar and rofi and my wallpapers. So let's go ahead and go to our my config directory here, open up neovim, and really the only difference is i3, which probably looks a little similar. That's because it's supposed to be a drop in replacement. Sway is a drop in replacement for i3 because i3 is older. The only difference really is Rofi and Polybar. Here's all the Nord colors used for Rofi. And here's the setup for Polybar, which is what you see up top. How much RAM is used, how much CP is used, how much battery. When you see this 100%, I actually do have that set to stop at 80% because that's what I have in my BIOS. Yeah, full at 80 because I usually have this laptop plugged in to save battery life i just leave make sure it doesn't go past 80 percent for charging and the last thing i couldn't ever get to work yet i'll probably get it at some point is this uh using icons instead of the name so if we refresh all we get is the icon default and not these other ones here so i got up two three four five six seven eight nine they're all just the default. So for now, I just have it as one, two, three, four. Four is running my OBS. There you go, you get to see OBS. Now really, the main difference on this desktop environment is it's running X11, which works with OBS. While Sway runs on Wayland, yes, it does work with OBS, but sometimes it just has hiccups or issues that sometimes are weird, and I don't have time to sit there and try to figure it out. So here we are with Void, i3, and x11. Now i3 is older, but it just works well and is quite snappy. It may not have all the bells and whistles such as the eye candy animations, but sometimes it's nice to use something simple that just works. So I'll be switching back to using my framework laptop over my M1 Mac Mini. That's because my M1 Mac Mini is about to be the first piece of my home lab. I'm going to put the base Void Linux on it, no DE, just a Linux server. There are a few things I want to tinker with, and I have a few more devices I'll add, such as a, I have another older Mac Mini, a MacBook Pro, an old Sony Vio, uh, have a Raspberry Pi 2 and 5. Maybe at some point in the future I can replace those with real servers and get a rack going. But I think it's just better to start off with the stuff you currently have and then build it out later. Anyways, I'm excited to get my home lab started. Awesome. Thanks for watching. What desktop environment do you use? You using Linux, Windows, Mac? Anyways, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment to defeat that Algo monster.